Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? All right, so I just want to get into the chair properly. Um, welcome back to another hobby journal video. This is going to be a long project. Well, long for me. I'm a slow painter. It takes me so long to paint anything. But this, I'm wanting to paint up a new project, a new unit. Uh, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, a very long time, and I just. I know, it was never a right time to start it, but now it has, and I'm going to be painting up a unit of Deathwing Terminators from the old Dark Vengeance starter set. Now, they're really cool models, I love the colour scheme, so it's going to be something out of the ordinary for me to get painted using the kind of the kind of bleached bone, kind of all colour effect on it. Um, I'm painting these up for a friend of mine, he's been a Patreon of mine since I set up Patreon, so it's kind of like a thank you gift for supporting me through Patreon and everything like that. So I think it's I think it's time that I've done something to give back to him. Um It's gonna be over it's gonna be done over a couple of videos. This video is gonna be mostly covering the base colours and um, getting the base colours down. But at the start I'll be talking about uh, what, how I come up with what ways to paint it, what colours to use, um, some mistakes. You see some of the stuff that I'm going to have to repaint and strip and everything. But to see that at the start of this video, I'll be doing a voiceover. So I won't be too boring, hopefully. Um, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to have a tester model, like I mentioned earlier. Um, and like these are some of the earlier efforts. And I don't know if it will pick up on the camera as much. But they're turning out pretty disastrous. Just it's just not working. So what I wanted to do then was after I put Zandri dust on it, um I went with a wash of I tried Reichland Flesh Shed. Everyone any kind of painting tutorial I looked up it said Agrax Earth Shed, so I just went to Reichland Flesh Shed just to give it a go to see what it looks like. And I think it is the right colour to go for. Um, I went with it all over the model and I think it is the kind of right one. It doesn't darken it too much. I'm not too sure yet, but I think it is the right one. So instead of going over uh, the armor with Ushapti Bone, I'm going to go back over with Sandry Dust. I think it comes out a lot nicer. I've done one arm here and it does look a lot smoother. It looks, I think it kind of matches it a bit more. So what I'm going to be doing is then just kind of, well, as much as I can today get as much of this Zandri dust on as I can and hopefully that will be the armor finished for now I'll have highlights to do after but um, let's just get this color on and see how we get on from there all right so what I wanted to get done in this video really was I wanted to get all the base colors down in one go and as I said I started off with Zandri dust and then I tried to put Ushapti bone over it all over it and it just wasn't working i don't know whether it's the past that i have or i don't know but it just it just it turned out brutal three of the models have to be stripped and restarted and everything but when i like i said when i put this andrew dust over the arm it looked really good and um, and that's the way i decided to go with it. there's two ways i use for painting power armor one is this way where you put the you get your base color on and you put your wash all over it and the other way is you put your base color on and then just put your wash just in the recesses um but i was testing this this is, a, this is like a tester model for this unit and I, I enjoyed doing it this way the longer way because it gives me a chance to get familiar with the model and it, then it gives it lets me put the second coat of zandri dust on it um instead of just putting two coats on straight away so it kind of it makes it easier on the wash side so you can just plaster well not plaster but you can just put the wash on the whole model um but it's a bit longer where you have to repaint all the all the other parts of the armor um but the one thing i did kind of learn is that once you get the wash all over it's pretty much a paint by numbers thing then because anything that's dark that's really dark and any of the recesses from the wash um, just leave it alone because I had, I had awful trouble trying to figure out over the last while uh, what to paint over when parts of the wash or anything like that but if it's darkened by the wash and it's a recessed part just leave it it's pretty basic I know but um, it really comes in handy to figure that out after a while and the shop bond the second coat went on really nice um, this time 
so it's a little bit longer but i think the armor looked a little looked a lot nicer uh from doing it this way so i'll probably be doing the rest of the unit like this then i moved on to the recesses of the armor i think it's more like the joints you see it in power armor space marine power armor a lot more and um, with a bad and black uh behind the knees and the elbows or i think it's on the neck of a space marine as well then obviously the vents here because i'm going to be painting them metal um, and the good thing without putting any layers or any highlights on yet, it gives me a chance to tidy up if I've messed up there with the black paint. Moving on to the shoulder pad, the insignias I went with, I'm pretty sure Storm Vermin Fur I went with. Uh, it's a brand new paint that I ordered and I'm only, only using it for the first time now. I put it on the knee as well. Um, there's a skull on his knee that I want to have the same colour as well. So that one's pretty nice. It's, that's going to look really nice once the wash goes over it. Then, any of the metal parts. I think you're obviously the rivets. Um, it's just easier to paint them just kind of just dot the paint on and then it's easy to tidy up now as well but lead belcher is pretty much the way to go for this and um, because once you put that black wash over lead belcher it's just it's your go-to combination you know um, and it's always worked for me and I put on the vents as well the vents need a good bit of a tidy up after this but um, I put the silver on the face as well or the mask as well moving on to the other insignia on the other shoulder pad and the purity seals. I went with my fist on red for a base coat. Again, just like Lead Belter, it's your go-to color. Um, it's your go-to base color for red. Then I did. I gave Ushap to Bone another chance on the purity seal simply because I wanted a, a completely different color from the Ushap to Bone color on the power armor. And on small parts like that, it looks okay. Um, I have to put another layer on it after this. Now that I have the base colour down and the formula for paint and the rest of the models, hopefully I should be able to speed up or hopefully I should be able to catch up pretty quick with the other four models and then we'll move on to the next video where I will be doing washes and highlights and bases after that so it'll be a few parts. But anyway, if you like this video and you thought it was helpful, make sure to hit the like button and comment below. I love getting comments, it's the best thing. And subscribe if you haven't. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.